heads and tails, where did that initial idea come from? Like, when did you finally say to Katie, or maybe Katie said it to you, (laughs) we need to move forward with this? When we were coming back from the pandemic into the office uh, at Middle Child, we asked the team, what do you want coming back into the office? What would make you excited about this? And we thought they were going to say things like, you know, we want a beer fridge and we want all you can eat sushi and snacks and things like that. And that was actually not the response we got at all. We got, I need coaching. I need therapy. I need help. I'm really? struggling from a mental health perspective. Yeah, I need support. And this was really eye opening for us. And at the time, um, I was deep into the beginning first few seasons of Billions, where they have this character, I don't know if you've watched it, Dr. Wendy Rhodes. And she is essentially a psychiatrist, a coach in this big hedge fund. And she coaches all of these, you know, stereotypical hedge fund men. Um, who, and she would really build them up and kind of unleash whatever insecurities and issues they were dealing with. And then they'd be able to go out and make billions of dollars for the company. And so we sort of I came up with this idea of we need our own Wendy Rhodes. We need a coach internally who can help our team deal with not just professional development, but personal goals um, and issues as they come up. And we had both worked with Barbara Morris Blake. I first, she's our leadership coach now at Heads and Tails. Um, I started working with her when I was at Citizen um, and became very close with her over the years. And we kind of call her a magical unicorn where if over the years, you know, we had someone who was struggling with confidence or couldn't get out of their own way or dealing with some of those more soft skills, we'd usually try to have them meet with Barbara and then she would really help them unleash that and it would really take their career to the next level. So we thought we want to take this to the next level. um, And we thought this was a really great idea for an agency. And around the same time, um, I was coming back from my second mat leave And we had just won a strategy magazine agency of the year for the fifth time out of six years that we were even eligible. And, you know, we had this great experience at Middle Child. We loved the team. We loved our clients. And we had built this whole agency with our own blood, sweat and tears as if it was our own. But at the end of the day, it wasn't our own. Someone else owned it. And I'm forever grateful for the opportunity to build a business with with that sort of support and safety net and that the people there believed in me enough to give me that opportunity. But we really wanted to do it for ourselves and do it on our own terms. 